Chomsky classification of grammars is based on the discovery by a scientist named Noam Chomsky who said that there are four types of grammars type 0, type 1, type 2 and type 3. Type 0 grammars are called unrestricted grammars, type 1 grammar are called context sensitive grammars, type 2 are called context free grammars, type 3 are called regular grammars. In the terms of diagram we can represent it like this unrestricted, context sensitive, context free, regular, type 0, type 1, type 2, type 3. Note this classification in your notebook then we will discuss each of them. Now let's discuss type 3 grammars that are the regular grammars. Regular grammars generate regular languages. Languages generated by regular grammars are called regular languages. In the case of regular grammars, the production rule is of the form this one and this one that is x derives a that means a non-terminal x can derive a terminal symbol a any symbol can exist in a or a non-terminal x can derive a y where x and y are non-terminals and a is a terminal all the production rules that we have studied till now were of these kind only there is one rule the rule s derived null is allowed only if s does not appear at right hand side of any production what does this mean? Suppose there is a production S derives ASA. We have studied many productions like this. Then we cannot use a production rule like S derives null. This is wrong. But if S does not appear on the right hand side of any production, suppose this is the production rule S derives small a and capital B, then S derives null is possible. This It is written S derives null is allowed only if S does not appear at right hand side of any of the productions see all the production rule in if any case s is appearing on the right hand side then you have to remove this kind of production so these were the type 3 grammars note this rule in your notebooks now in my previous videos you have studied these five examples in which we had to derive the grammar for a given language now we have to test whether they are regular or not Suppose this was one example a, i, b and c n in which n was greater than equal to 1 and i was greater than equal to 0. So we built up these three production rules for this language. Now we have to check whether it is regular or not. So this production is s derives a non-terminal a. See for a regular grammar the production rules must be of the type non-terminal derives a terminal and non-terminal derives a terminal and then followed by a non-terminal again. So S derives A, this is a non-terminal A but in the case of rules there is no non-terminal. If there exists a non-terminal then it should be preceded by a terminal. So this production does not follow the rules of a regular grammar therefore we can say that the grammar that we have generated for this language is not regular. Now check for this a n b n c a c i s derives a again same type of production so due to this production rule the grammar for this language is also not regular now a n b n c n see here we have s derives a s1 which is following this production rules then we have a s s1 this is also not following this because we can have only a one non-terminal but here we have two non-terminals so this production is not valid similarly this one is also not valid where s1 derives b c both are non-terminals there should be one terminal at least c b derives b c is also not possible and this one is also not possible this one is also not possible b c derives b c because here should have only one non-terminal so there are many production rules in this which are not following the properties of regular grammar therefore a n b n c n will not be a regular language therefore not be a regular grammar now there was one question construction of grammar for a language which is a set of all palindromes so we built up these five production rules palindromes over a comma b so here we can see that this production is okay this is okay then we have s derives a s a if we had only a s then it should be correct 
बट नाउ वी हैव अ टर्मिनल नॉन टर्मिनल एंड देन अगेन अ टर्मिनल सो दिस इज ऑफ नो काइंड ऑफ टू द रूल सो दिस इज नॉट वैलिड सिमिलरली बी एस बी इज ऑल्सो नॉट वैलिड सो दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट अ रेगुलर ग्रामर नाउ हेयर वी हैव ए एन बी आई सी एन दिस इज टर्मिनल ए नॉन टर्मिनल टर्मिनल so this is also not following the rules so a n b i c n is also not a regular grammar therefore we can conclude that in my previous videos where i took these five examples all those examples for which we have generated the grammar were not regular then we can see after studying type 2 type 1 and type 0 to which category they belong so by the time we can say that they are not regular i hope it is clear to you and one more thing if we have a finite automata for a language there exists a finite automata or we can build a finite automata for a language then we can say that that language is regular and the grammar for that language will be regular grammar this is the property of regular grammar there must exist a finite automata now let's discuss the type 2 grammars type 2 grammars are called context free grammars as in the case of regular grammars finite automata was associated with regular grammar here push down automata is associated with context free grammars push down automata is also a machine in the subject that we will study later on context free grammars generate context free languages and the production rules in the case of context free grammar are of this kind a derives gamma where a is any any non terminal and gamma is a closure of union of terminals and non terminals in simple language we can say any combination of terminals and non terminals is allied on the right hand side of the production suppose we have a production like s derives asc then it is a combination of terminals and non terminals on the right hand side therefore it is in accordance with context free grammars or we can have a derives b a c small b again this is also a combination of terminals and non terminals any combination any possible combination of terminal and non terminals is allowed in the case of right hand side in context free grammar so this is type 2 grammars now we will discuss the examples if they are in accordance with type 2 grammars or not now see this one a n b i c n where n is greater than equal to 1 and i is greater than equal to 0 we built up a grammar for this and we had these three production rules in that now we have to verify if they are of type 2 or not we have already verified that all of these five examples were not regular grammars now we are checking for context free grammars so s derives a s c c this start symbol s is a non terminal where a is a non terminal according to the production then it derives a s c now in the rule it is said that there must be a gamma such that gamma is a combination of any terminals and non terminals here terminal non terminal terminal that means it is a perfect combination of terminals and non terminals so this rule is correct s derives b s derives b means it is a non terminal and here also we have a non terminal so it is also correct a terminal can exist or even not exist terminal non terminal b derives terminal b non terminal b or null this is also a valid rule because it is also a combination of terminals and non terminals so that means a n b i c n is a type 2 grammar or context free grammar it is not regular it is context free grammar a i b n c n s derives a it is valid because here we can have anything combination of terminals or non terminals either a terminal or either a non terminal a derives bc bac combination of terminals and non terminals s derives as it is also a combination of terminals and non terminals therefore this grammar is also a context free grammar a n b n c i s derives a it is valid a derives ab or aab it is also valid s derives sc it is also valid all we have is a combination of terminals and non terminals or either a non terminal or either a terminal so this is also a context free grammar fourth is a n b n c n now note here this rule is perfect 
combination of terminals and non terminals combination of terminals and non terminals s1 derives bc is also correct it is a combination of two non terminals cp derives bc this is not correct why because at the left hand side we can have only one non terminal but here we have two and here ab it is having a terminal a and non terminal b but we can have only one non terminal so all these rules are wrong as per context free grammar so a and b and c n is not a context free grammar now one question was palindromes over a and b we derived these production rule s derives null s derives a s derives b s derives asa s derives bsb combination of terminal non terminal it is also it is also correct it is also correct it is also correct so out of these five examples only this one was not context free grammar rest all other were context free grammars now we shall discuss the type one that is the context sensitive grammars now let's discuss the type one grammars type one grammars are called context sensitive grammars as it was finite automata for regular languages pushed down automata for context free languages there is linear bound automata for context sensitive languages out of these till now we have only studied about finite automata we will study later on about pushed down automata and linear bound automata so context sensitive grammars generate context sensitive languages the production rules are of the form alpha a beta derives alpha gamma beta here only a is the non terminal alpha beta and gamma are any possible strings they can be any possible strings made by combination of terminals and non terminals that means it is a closure of union of terminals and non terminals also note that alpha and beta can be empty strings also that means we can leave alpha and beta as empty also and consider only a or we can leave alpha as empty and consider a beta or we can leave beta as empty and consider alpha a so there is no error in that alpha and beta can be empty also but gamma must be not empty that is we cannot leave gamma as a empty string we have to consider a string for gamma every time so let's see one example now consider this example a n b n c n this was not proved to be context free let rest other were proved context free so we are checking it for context sensitive so these are the production rules and we have to check if these production rules are of this form then we can say that it is context sensitive language so first consider s derives a s1 or a s s1 then if we take this s as a then we can say that alpha and beta are empty for this lhs then this is if lhs is having alpha and beta as empty then it is gamma and this is also gamma therefore this is satisfying our production rules so this is a valid production rule as per context sensitive now we check for s1 derives bc s1 derives bc here if we take s1 as a and this as gamma we can say that alpha and beta are empty so this is also a valid production rules now cb derives bc see it very carefully cb derives bc now if we take this as our a this as alpha and say that beta is empty then here also this a will this is our wait see it very carefully cb derives bc then if we take this c as our alpha and b as our a then beta is empty here so we have to keep beta as empty here now here we can see that it can be of style alpha gamma because beta is kept to be empty so this is also a valid production rule now check for a capital b derives small a small b a capital b derives small a small b if you take this as alpha and this as a then you can say that this is alpha this is gamma and beta is empty here and beta is empty in the lhs also so this is also a valid production rule now 
check for bb derives bb if you take this as a this is alpha and beta is empty here then you can say that this is alpha this b is alpha and this b is gamma and beta is empty here so both are lhs and rhs are having beta is empty so this is also a valid production rule check for bc if you take this as alpha this is a and beta is empty you can say that this b is alpha and this c is gamma and bt is beta is empty here so this is also a valid production rule now check for this one bc derives bc alpha a alpha gamma beta is empty beta is empty here so this is also a valid production rule now check for c capital c derives cc alpha a beta is empty alpha gamma beta is empty so this is also valid production rule so all the production rules that we have derived for a grammar that will generate this language is satisfying this property of context sensitive grammar so this is a context sensitive grammar now note that in this hierarchy derived by noam chomsky he is saying that type 3 is regular type 2 is context free type 1 is context sensitive and type 0 is unrestricted from this hierarchy we can say that every regular grammar is a context free grammar also and every context free grammar may not be a regular grammar but regular grammar is lying inside the block of context free therefore we can say that every regular grammar is context free every context free is context sensitive every context sensitive is unrestricted but it may not be true that every unrestricted is context sensitive or every context sensitive is context free or every context free is regular only we can follow the hierarchy from bottom to up regular can be context free context free is context sensitive and context sensitive is unrestricted so by here we can say that this example is only context sensitive because it was not proved context free so it is only context sensitive and all those that were proved context free are also context sensitive because context sensitive is lying upper in the hierarchy all the context free are context sensitive all those four examples are context sensitive also but this one is lying only in context sensitive and not in context free so this is only context sensitive not context free so i hope this is clear to you now we will discuss the type 0 grammars now type 0 grammars are called unrestricted grammars turing machine is the automaton for the unrestricted grammars unrestricted grammars generate recursively enumerable languages the name for the language is recursively enumerable for unrestricted grammar by the name suggest we can say that they have no restriction for the production rule the production rule can be of any kind alpha derives beta where alpha and beta both are the combinations of terminals or non-terminals only one specific property exists for this type of grammar that is alpha that means the lhs of the production rule should have at least one non-terminal rest everything is accepted by this grammar only one property it specifies that is LHS should contain at least one non-terminal. It is not possible that LHS contains only terminals because that production rule cannot be a valid production rule because we cannot replace a terminal. We can only replace a non-terminal. So it is always kept into mind. So finally we can say all regular languages are context free languages, all context free languages are context sensitive languages, all context sensitive languages are unrestricted languages or all regular grammars are context free grammars context free grammars are context sensitive grammars context sensitive grammars are unrestricted grammars you have to always follow the bottom up hierarchy in this diagram of circles i hope it is clear to you